All right, the next part of this is going to verify and to go through the rest of the setup. So these boxes have been reloaded. So I'll go ahead and admin NXOS12345, where NX is capitalized, OS is lowercase, just like in class. Admin NXOS12345. And I just want to make certain show, I'm going to just look at the features that have been enabled. So I'm going to say show, run, pipe, include feature. And I want to make certain that V in segment base is on, and I need to make certain that my interface VLAN. So everything's good to go there. So I'll say show, run, pipe, include feature. And sure enough, we're good to go. So what we want to do now is we want to actually leverage this VN segment VLAN based syntax. Now, in order to be able to do that, what I'm going to do is I'm going to create a VLAN. So the VLAN that we said that we were going to use, I'll say config T is going to be VLAN 10. Over here, I'll do the same thing. So I'll say config T, VLAN 10. Now that VLAN, I haven't exited, so it doesn't exist just yet. But what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and give this guy a name. I'm gonna say my test VLAN. And over here, I'll do the same thing. So I'll say name test underscore VLAN. All right, now, remember I said that we would actually map this. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna say my VN segment that corresponds to this VLAN is going to be 10010. So in other words, I'm just basically putting 10,000 on the end of it. And I do this a lot in labs to try to make things a little more intuitive. So when you're looking at show commands, you also see that I changed MAC addresses and some other things as far as trying to make things a little bit more clear. So in this scenario, all I've done is create a VLAN 10. And I said, OK, to make VLAN 10 adjacent across this IP fabric, I want to use the VN segment 10010 for that purpose. Now, what I also need to do is I need to enable eVPN to provide functionality for this. And you can see here, it says enable double wide ARP uh, ether TCAM carving. That's the idea of what I already did. I just took care of it ahead of time. The moment that you actually try to do this, it's going to let you know that you need to actually change the slicing for the different areas or the different things that you're going to be doing work with as it relates to EB to VX lands. Just keep in mind that we haven't hit VPCs yet. We will. But right now, just looking at my overall topology, I have everything that I need. And all I want to do now is I'm going to come in here and I'm going to go ahead and configure my EVPN settings. Now, EVPN is going to be some things that we need to look at. And we'll look at multi-homing. We'll, uh, we even have EVPN multi-site inside of Nexus, akin to and similar to what we have inside the ACI. But right now, let's just lend our attention to straight EVPN. And what I'm going to be doing is I'm creating a VNI. And I said I was going to use 10010. But this VNI is a layer 2 VNI. That's very, very important. And I, what I'm going to do is I'm going to let the system dynamically issue a route distinguisher. And what we see here is, is we have no VLAN. Now, notice what I did. I've got my um, exit configuration here, and it says no valid ID unable to generate a route distinguisher. Now, I've run into this a couple of times. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to say VLAN, oops, oops, exit, no VLAN 100. I'm going to say VLAN. 10. And what I'm going to do is I'm just going to hit exit and then I'm going to try this syntax again. I'm just going to come in here and see if I can go to EVPN. And like I said, I'm going to create the VNI layer two. And then let's see if it lets me do it now. If I do a route, this, uh, route distinguisher auto and let's go ahead and do a route target import auto and we'll do an export auto. Now, I've run into this a couple of times where it just kind of stumps me. And if I go back and I just basically enter the VLAN mode and then exit cleanly, what ends up happening is, is it seems to take the syntax. So I just want you guys to be aware of that. Um, I've never had it happen on real equipment. And in these labs, obviously, I want you guys to be able to um, build and, and, and create everything. Now, the other part of this is, is I also need to make certain that this VNI is enabled on my NVE. So remember, if I come in here and I say show, 
run interface in VE1, and we look at the running configuration, all I have is the bare minimal, the basic config. So what I want to do now is I'm going to go ahead and enable this NVE to support the VNI that I just created. So to do that, all I'm going to do is say that this NVE is now a member of VNI10010. And I'm going to go ahead and just to make things clear, I'm going to use ingress re replication. Now, ingress replication is going to be using my eVPN environment for my layer two, my broadcast, my unknown unicast, and my multicast traffic. So all I'm going to do is I'm just going to say use the protocol BGP. And that should actually be everything that I need in order to bring up that configuration on that specific resource. So let's go ahead and do the exact same thing over here. So what we've already done is we've created uh, the config. I'm going to say EVPN. Um, actually, uh, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to say VLAN 10, and I'm just going to say exit. And then I'm going to go in and I'm going to say EVPN. I'm going to say my VNI was 10010, and it's a layer 2 VP, uh, EVPN. And I'm going to say it is a use the route distinguisher auto. And again, notice it doesn't let me do it. So I'll say VLAN 10. I'll say exit, and then I'll just come in here and try it one more time. And I'll do a route distinguisher auto. And now notice it's letting me do it. So if I do route distinguish, uh, route target import, we'll do a, go ahead and give me an import auto and an export auto. So it's just basically going to create the labels for me, not labels, route targets. Sorry, got MPLS on the brain. So now what we've got is we've got these config, these values in place. So the next thing I want to do is, again, go to the interface NVE1. And under here, I'm going to say, you are now a member of VNI10010. And again, I'm going to use ingress replication, which will be using the protocol BGP in order to be able to get that information across my infrastructure. And now what I want to do is I'm just going to come in here and hit end. And what I want to do at this particular moment is see if anything has changed. So if I say show NVE interface NVE one detail, we see here that my state is up. We have notice my learning host mode is control plane. Where in the flood and learn, it is data plane, which means there's no real control plane learning it's all just flood and learn and let's go ahead and do show nve interface nve1 detail and we should see the exact same configuration over here we see we're up we're operational we see that we are operating in control plane now what i want to do is i want to say show nve peers peer and hit enter and what we see here is, is again i have no NVE peer show NVE peer and what we've got here is we've got nothing now let's see about spanning tree so let's say show spanning tree for VLAN 10 and let's see if it is indeed running it is we can see that this bridge is a root and if I come over here and do the same thing show spanning tree for VLAN 10 it should come as no surprise that this device will also be a root remember they're isolated with an IP fabric so now the objective or the point of all of this is, is that I want to know, did I form a layer two eVPN tunnel? Now, the way I'm going to do that is I'm going to see if I can't test it. I'm going to go up to my host here and I'm going to say show IP interface brief, exclude assigned addresses, and I have an IP address. Now, just 10, 1, let's see, ping, 10, 1, 10, 1, ping myself. I'm good to go. Can I ping across? to see if I can hit the other device over here. And what we're going to see is, is I'm not able to. So let's take a look and see what's going on. So um, trying to get into this resource right here. Let me click on him. See if I can get into this host. There we go. So EN will say show IP interface brief. E assigned. So ping 10, 1, 10, 2. I can ping myself. 10, 1, 10, 1. And what we're going to see here is, is I cannot ping. Now, let's see what's happening. So if I come over here and say show NVE peer, and I say show NVE peers, we are, we're not seeing any peering take place. 
as a result of any of the configuration that we just implemented. Now, the question here is, is, is it, does it have something to do with the VLAN? So let's say show run, we'll say in or section VLAN, and let's see if there's any configuration in here. So we have VLAN 10 test name VN segment. Come over here, show run, and we will say section VLAN. And we have VLAN 10, we have the test name, we have uh, the VN segment, and show NVE detail, I'm sorry, NVE interface, NVE detail, one detail. And let's see what we've got. So we see that the source interface state is up. We have all of the configuration in place, but we do not have reachability across the infrastructure. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put a pin in this and take a look and see what I've done wrong. And then what we'll do is we'll come back and we'll look at this critically um, in the next video.